The Hon. Sandra Carr. Thank you very much. Tomorrow is World Teachers' Day, so I thought I would take a moment to thank the many teachers and teachers' aides before Parliament ends this week and we take a break. So to all the teachers and teachers' aides in Western Australia, genuinely thank you for all the work you do. With my own son graduating Year 12, or having graduated now Year 12 this year, it is the end of my role as a school parent now that both my children have finished school. So I'd also like to steal this moment and indulge for a moment to thank all of the teachers who've made a pos positive contribution to my son's education. Thank you for your extra efforts, the time and the commitment you make to students like my son. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. As a former teacher myself, I am acutely aware of the long hours that teachers put in to contribute to the education of West Australia's students and young people. There's so many additional hours that people don't see of preparation, marking, planning, undertaking the huge range of administrative roles that teachers have to complete, and also worrying, losing nights of sleep, worrying about students. It is a tough job at times. And it has been a really great tra training ground for me in this new role as a Member of Parliament. I have said a number of times now that teaching has some really strong similarities to being a Member of Parliament. It's a bottomless pit of work. The hours are significant, significantly greater than that which most people would imagine. You have to deal with vast quantities of information, issues, complaints, concerns, and people don't always come to you with the most positive of attitudes. Teaching certainly prepared me for this new role. It also taught me that if you work hard for other people, the intrinsic rewards are great. Teachers work incredibly hard for the young people in WA. But I'd like to make a special mention of one particular teacher, and that is the principal of Northampton District High School, Melanie Sutherland, who not only steered her school through a post-cyclone recovery and a lot of the anxieties and stresses that came with that for the young people there, but she also used the school as a hub to help the community heal, providing the school as a place for, for meetings and even for my own office to do pop-up offices out in Northampton to help people with issues in terms of accessing funding and for us to do to support people through insurance issues. The generosity and the concern for her whole community is reflective of the, the inherently nurturing and caring nature that so many teachers bring. So I'd like to also recognise the fact that Melanie Sutherland has been nominated as a finalist in the WA Primary Principal of the Year in the WA Education Awards. I'd like to congratulate her and all the other finalists in these awards. Your passion and dedication for WA students and their education is invaluable and the roll on benefits of that will flow through our community for many, many years to come. So to the teachers and the teachers' aides of WA, knowing that my words are grossly inadequate to show you the appreciation that we all have for what you do, thank you so very much. Here, here. The Honourable Jackie Jarvis. President, thank you. I stand today because I have been dismayed by some of the comments that have been made um, in this place and in the other place on the subject of electoral reform, particularly about me and, and some of my colleagues on this side of the House. Um, I'd like to start perhaps by uh, looking at Hanside from the 12th of October when the, um, the member for North West Central, 